Hello everyone, this is Colin from Fiber Optics for Sale. In this video, I will explain what is splice-on connector and a mechanical splice connector. The traditional way of terminating fiber connectors is adhesive and polish. You have to strip the fiber, inject adhesive into the connector, cure the adhesive with a heating oven, and then polish the connector by at least three steps. This traditional way is a tedious process. It takes at least five to seven minutes to finish one connector, and the quality really depends on the technician's skill. That is why some vendors have invented several types of quick termination connectors. The termination time has been reduced to about two minutes per connector. There are two main types of quick termination connectors, the splice-on connector, such as Sumitomo's Lynx 2 connector, and the mechanical splice connector, such as Corning's Unicamp connector. These two pictures show the mechanical design difference between them. In a splice-on connector, the connector is pre-polished, and there is a perfectly cut fiber stub protruding out from the rear part of the connector ferrule. Then the fiber that is waiting to be terminated is cleaved and fused together with a fiber stub using a fusion splicer. Since the connector is pre-polished in factory, and the fibers are fused together, it has almost the same performance and reliability as a factory pre-made connector. That is the beauty of this design. A splice-on connector typically costs around $12. In a mechanical splice connector, the connector is also pre-polished. There is also a perfectly cut fiber stub. However, this fiber stub doesn't protrude out of the ferrule. Instead, it is inside the ferrule, as shown here. Since the fiber stub is inside the ferrule, it cannot be fused with the fiber. Instead, the fiber is cleaved and inserted into the connector ferrule and closely contact with the fiber stub. The field fiber is held in place by a mechanical crimp so that the fiber won't be accidentally pulled out. In order to reduce insertion loss and return loss, index matching gel is used to get the best performance possible. However, it is not able to match the performance of a splice-on connector since a mechanical splice is always worse than a fusion splice. A mechanical splice connector typically costs around $13. Its cost is comparable with a splice-on connector. The termination time is about the same for both splice-on and mechanical splice connectors. Both are under two minutes. In addition to performance, there is also a big difference in the tool's cost. For a splice-on connector, you need a fusion splicing machine. A high-quality core alignment fusion splicer costs more than $12,000. For many contractors, this expense is a big obstacle for them to adopt the splice-on technology. However, once you invest the money in a fusion splicer, the labor cost savings will more than pay itself off, not to mention the best performance you can get from a connector. On the other hand, mechanical splice connectors typically require a specific assembly tool which costs around $500. This picture shows Corning's Unicamp assembly tool. If you purchase a specific vendor's mechanical splice connector, you will have to buy the corresponding assembly tool. That is because each manufacturer has a different mechanical design for their connectors. Here's a summary on the performance and reliability comparison between splice-on and mechanical splice connectors. As you can see, splice-on connectors have better insertion loss for both multimode fiber and single mode fiber. They also have better return loss on multimode fiber. In the reliability comparison, splice-on connectors have the best reliability, as good as traditional factory-made adhesive and polished connectors. Mechanical splice connectors have pretty good reliability, but not as good as splice-on connectors. However, the tool cost is the main reason many installers still stay with mechanical splice connectors, such as Corning's Unicam connector, 3M's no polish connector, etc. Many small installers simply don't have or don't want to spend that amount of money. So there you have it. You can find many more fiber optic tutorials on foforsale.com. Visit us today. I will see you in the next video.